Hello, in this video I'll show you how to remove or delete a file from a directory, one file or all the files from that particular place. Now, it is very simple and straightforward in general, but it is actually very complicated. Now, in general, what you need to do is simply use file from system.io and then you use the delete method and it will delete the directory. In this case, it will come from uh, drive L, test folder, and it's gonna be thou.txt1.txt file. It will delete that, but it will not provide you any information, and that is where the troubles begin. First of all, the exceptions, they are quite good, but they don't tell you if they actually removed the file or for that matter if a file exists at all. Therefore, before you do anything, you should probably verify that the file does indeed exist so that you can be somewhat sure that the file got deleted. If you want to be completely sure, you would use exist method after you delete it, okay? So before you delete it, you want to make sure that the file does exist, okay? So we have the if statement, we do file.exist, right? We provide that directory of a file name and all that. And if it does exist, we move on to the delete, right? And then if it doesn't exist, we print saying, we write line rather saying file not found, right? This is what you would do. Obviously, you probably wouldn't use a console application. Maybe it's going to be WPF. Uh, and if you want to learn about WPF, you can take a look at my book, Exploring Windows Presentation Foundation, also at my WPF course, and take a look at some of the videos on YouTube about WPF. Uh, now, we have file exists delete and again if you want to verify to use file exists which should return false if it was deleted uh, and we can now move on so moving on we need to use some exceptions to found some other things the first one is the directory not found okay so i'm actually going to run it now okay let's let's do a, a bit of a, a run on the application like that okay and this particular says you do not have permissions to delete this file. So we jumped into, into this unauthorized access. I will cover that. But basically, uh, if the directory not found, right, we can do it like this. Okay, so this directory does not exist. And I'm going to run it again. Okay, and uh, you will see... In this case, it says file not found because we still have that. But basically, if you uh, have the wrong directory, it will throw that exception. That is if you don't check for the file being uh, there, right? Uh, however, if you do it like this, test, okay, and then mess up the file name like this, it will not throw that exception. Therefore, you do have to use this file exists to verify if the file actually exists. It's kind of messy and it could be probably made better by just returning something from the delete, uh, some kind of uh, verification that the file was deleted or not deleted or something like that. Uh, but in any case, we can move on to the other kind of a uh, very important uh, exception and that is an authorized access exception. Now I ran it previously and I saw it, uh, you saw it pop up. Basically it happened because the file uh, has read only permissions. Okay, so I set it to read only. And if we go to this folder just quickly, you can see right here, it's val tst one okay, properties. And right here it's read only. I'm gonna uncheck it, I'm gonna apply it, okay. And I'm gonna go back, and now if I run it, see if I run it, it will be deleted. You see, I get no messages. That means it was indeed removed. You can see right here, it does not exist anymore. So that's all good and great, but now what if we want to delete everything in the folder? Let's comment that, and let's take a look at the second part of this uh, whole arrangement. Kind of a simple thing here. Basically, what you need to learn alongside the delete thing, you need to learn what get files does, or rather how to get all the files in the particular directory, right? 
that is very easy to do. You just use system.io.directory and there you'll find a method called getFiles, which will basically get the string array for all the file directories with file names included, right? And then you can use a for each loop, for for loop, uh, whatever loop you want, and you can loop through these files. So now in this case, I only have a very simple exception, but you can make it more elaborate. You can uh, perhaps get all the files and remove uh, only the ones that contain certain letters or certain arrangements or certain IDs or certain codes or names. So you can do all that uh, simply by getting all the files and then adding some of some filters in the for each loop. But as you can see, we just loop through files and we delete them all. That's all that there is to it. Uh, now we can find this source code if you really need it on Patreon, as well as some other uh, source codes of mine. And you can take a look at my uh, series, you would call it actually a free course. It used to be a paid course, now it's a free course. So Blazor Examples is called, it's free Blazor Examples on YouTube. You can find the source code on Patreon and you can watch it for free on YouTube. Uh, and also do take a look at some of my courses some also on Skillshare. Uh, you can find some pieces of my courses and some of my full courses on Skillshare as well. So do take a look at that. And with that, we will conclude this video.